welcome to Tori Talks TV. This is our mid-season predictions for This Is Us Season 4. Because, as we all know, the fall finale just happened, and we have a very long wait until we see what goes down and what the heck is happening. Oh my gosh. A really long wait. A really long wait, yeah. So we have some predictions for you today. So, Dr. S, how about you begin? Let's talk about our big three brother, Kevin. Okay. Okay. So, Kevin. So, my prediction is kind of like a question. Who is this fiancé? No. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I think it has to be Cassidy. It your, has your to be. Your prediction is that it's Cassidy. However, I'm not going to stop there because what kind of boring prediction would that be? It's so not here's what's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> so I think we find out she's pregnant because they did have their one night stand. Yes. The timing makes sense because it's the 40th birthday and she would be pregnant. Okay. And maybe about to have a baby. It's nine months ahead. Okay. Yes. And fiance. So something must have happened where they decided they were going to get married, maybe like to do the right thing because they're having a baby. Right. But what I think is going to happen is that they're not going to get married because yeah. he knows that she still has feelings for her ex-husband. Wow. So that's what I think. That's actually really good. And the reason why I think that is because remember at the end of season three, the finale, we see Kevin's kid. Yeah. Who's totally Kevin's kid. That kid looked just like Kevin. Just, like, walk by, but Mm -hmm. we didn't see her. No Mm -hmm. trace of her. Okay. I like that prediction. (laughs) That's my prediction. Can I tell you my Kevin prediction? Yeah, of course. Okay. Okay. So, my prediction is, first of all, Cassidy, because that's a big fan theory, right? Mm -hmm. Cassidy's the fiancé in the back room that we don't see. Cassidy, Mm -hmm. you are not the mother. Okay? Can I tell you why? (laughs) Because this is nine months in the future, okay? okay. So at this point, because they slept together a little while ago, she's mm-hmm. overdue. She needs to be induced at this point, okay? Nine months in the future, I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. And then morning sickness, he says, right? He's like, mm-hmm. oh, why do they call it morning sickness if it's mm-hmm. she has it all the time? Isn't that usually referred to in, like, the first trimester? Yes, you can be throwing up your whole yes. pregnancy, but it's usually, like, called, like, hyperemesis or something. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. I mean, it could be. I don't know, but I'm not convinced. Okay. And I think they want us to believe it's Cassidy. Mm-hmm. So, let's talk about Sophie. Remember Sophie? I do. (laughs) Sophie, you are not the mother. I'll tell you why. Now, as much as I want her to be the mother, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm like team Kevin and Sophie. Um, I think it's too good to be true, and and This Is Us wouldn't do that for us because, you know, they don't like it to be the obvious, right? Okay. Madison. There are fan theories that Madison is the mother, is the fiancé in the back. No, you are not the mother. No. And this is the only reason why I think I'm this. Like, yeah, I'm not the mother. <laughs> you keep saying you. you're not the mother. I'm like, you are not, no, not the mother. Right. So the actress who plays Madison is mm-hmm. actually married to the creator, Dan Fogelman. And he said in an interview, he's like, there's no way I'm going to give my wife a sex scene with <laughs> Justin Hartley. <laughs> so based on that alone, mm-hmm. you are not the mother. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's talk about somebody else who's been with Zoe. Okay. You are not the mother. No. <laughs> Because she doesn't want to be a mother, no. was my reasoning for that. Mm-hmm. So, who do I think is the baby mama? Okay, this is really obscure, but go just stay with me okay. here. I think it's a woman named Susan. Susan. And like, where did I get this, right? That's probably what you're thinking. Mm-hmm. So, thanks to one of our viewers who commented, they just, and it's really, they put this in my mind. They, I don't think they were, like, trying to say this is actually what happens, but Isabel Sardina, thank you. Um, she said there's an episode this season mm-hmm. where uh, it's a flashback of Jack and Rebecca, and he's talking about girl baby names. Mm-hmm. He says, Zoe. Oh. Check. He did date a Zoe. He says, yes. Zophie. It's very close to Sophie. And then he randomly says, Susan. Mm-hmm. So... <laughs> I know, it is far-fetched, but why would he say two names of people that he did date? And then who, the Susan is just a little throwing me off. I know. So my prediction is that Kevin's fiance, baby mama, mm-hmm. her name is Susan, and we haven't met her yet. You haven't met Susan yet. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, sticking to it. <laughs> Remember that cute little red-headed girl in that town where Nikki and Cassidy lived? Was her name Susan? 
The gym lady? Yeah. I don't know. The red hair? I don't remember. Really Comment good. and let us know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we move on to our next big three? Yes. Brother. Brother. Randall. Randall. Okay, what's your prediction for Randall? Okay, so the question for me that guides my prediction is, why are we not talking to Randall? Why? Everybody wants to know. Why wouldn't we talk to Randall? We love Randall. How could you not talk to Randall? Who And who's we? I'm breaking it down. Okay. Who's the we? Yeah. Because she, Kate, was like, remember, we're not talking to Randall? Kevin said that. Yes, right? Oh, Kevin. Mm-hmm. So then, so who's, so so for sure, Kevin, and then is Re- it Rebecca. Right. Our two. Is Kate involved in that we as well? Is, is Miguel, Miguel involved in this we? What did Randall do? All I can think is that Randall must have... Because, you know, Rebecca did say, okay, I think we should see a doctor. Yes. Which then leads me to believe Randall knows that Rebecca's sick, but maybe he doesn't share with the rest of the siblings. Right. And so then they find out and like, how could you not tell us? And then like a rift forms. Totally. And then also, he also is struggling with his anxiety that he's not sharing with the rest of the family. Oh, yeah. So then I feel like that's going to play a part. Something in this. blows up. Something. Yeah. they just like, I noticed in this season, they're like, dropping little things and not revisiting them like anytime soon right Right. and like what's that about this is us i know what's that about yes okay so can i go to my randall prediction because it's actually it's not that much different from yours Mm -hmm. obviously we do know they're not speaking but Mm -hmm. my reason i think more is that so i think randall and the twins are not speaking Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and i think it's over medical decisions and or treatments for rebecca because obviously something's going on, maybe Alzheimer dementia. And I think that, I actually do think that the twins do. Like, they, they do find out that she's having some memory issues. Maybe in some denial, they're having some denial about it. But I think that it's basically like, let's just say, for instance, we want to put her on medication mm-hmm. for Alzheimer's dementia. Or we want her to live in a nursing home. I don't know. But I feel like it's something where Randall's like, no. I don't want that. And and then the twins, because Kate seems to usually go along with Kevin. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Kate. Yeah, true. yeah. So I feel like it's something like that. And I just, I can't get Miguel's face out of my, I can't get it out of my head when he's, when they're in the cabin and he looks disappointed in Kevin. Or he, there's something like, he just looks, he just looks very, obviously he isn't happy because she just got lost. But mm-hmm. there's something about it. I think that, I think that he's part of this. Got something. Yeah, there's, there's something mm-hmm. going on there, but... That makes me so sad that they're not talking. And how long are they not talking? Because, yeah, of you know, this nine months in the future. Right. How and long? how long is it going to go into the future? Because, you know, yeah. again, to talk about the season finale from season three, mm-hmm. when they're all getting ready to go see her and her is Rebecca. Yes. How long has it been since they've seen her? Right. And, you know, when Randall walks in to see Rebecca in the bed, mm-hmm. he says, hi, mom, it's me, Randall Pierce. I think your he son. says his full name, your he son. Your son. Like, have they not been talking this whole time? Oh, whole I time. mean, or obviously by then it's like 12 years later. 12 years. The dementia has obviously progressed yeah. a lot. So, so does he just have to remind her? Or, or does he? Yeah. Or is this not a memory issue at all? I don't know. There's a rift. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I know. I, I have know. no idea. They're so good. No okay. All right. Let's move on to Kate. Okay. Her last big three okay. siblings. So What's your prediction? My question, that guys, my prediction is, yes. what happened to Kate and Toby? Or yeah. Katobi? Katobi. Katobi. Oh, nice. Okay, so I think, sadly, um, so remember in the fall finale, Beth tells Kate, if you only go outside your marriage to address issues within your marriage, you're headed into dangerous territory. Yes. I don't think, I don't think Kate took Beth's advice. Oof. Yeah, and then they got divorced. I mean, That's your prediction? she's signing the papers in the fall finale with her maiden name. The mm-hmm. papers, you know, mm-hmm. the, the police papers. Yes, yes, police report, yeah. <laughs> yes, and I think that has to be what happened. Yeah. And I think that probably Kate continued to confide in other people, like the neighbor. The neighbor. The neighbor. Yes. And not talk to Toby ever, because she's afraid. Well, she obviously, something happened in the past with Mark, yes. her boyfriend, yes. that maybe shaped the way she is. Because they dropped that in a couple episodes ago, too. With the know. whole, like, banana thing, mm-hmm. like, and then the whole... um Hocus Pocus? Wait, was that the movie? Uh, Practical, Practical Magic. Magic. Close. Yes. yes. So close. Yes, and Which then is... they just dropped it in and then mm-hmm. just let it go. That's coming That definitely has coming to be. Back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, so my Kate prediction. First of all, we have to talk about in the fall finale when Kate read a text 
Mm-hmm. Okay. The text that she was getting Toby's phone, you know, and she read the text. I'm just going to just refresh everybody's yes, yes. memory. Okay. So Toby's text to his CrossFit crew was trying to get past it, but it's hard. Then someone named Lady Kryptonite <laughs> the text back, don't let her bring you down here for you. Okay. So we're supposed to believe that Toby's talking about Kate. My prediction is he's not talking about Kate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because, well, first of all, This Is Us wants us to believe that. Yes. And it's, that's like the obvious guess. I'm not falling for it. I'm not going to fall for it. Okay, so we do know something's going to happen with Kate and Toby. Mm-hmm. Okay, because if you all remember in the flash forward scene in the season three finale, we see Toby show up, or she, he's alone. Um, when he's going to see Rebecca, mm-hmm. and he says he just spoke to Jack, mm-hmm. and they're on their way. Okay, but no wedding ring. Sense wedding ring. Mm-hmm. So I don't think that he is talking about Kate in that text um, because I don't think Toby's going to cheat on Kate. No. I think in the past, Toby's been cheated on. Remember, mm-hmm. he went into that yes. super terrible depression yes. Yes. because of it. So I just, I don't think, I still think he's the good guy that we yes. know and love. I agree. Yeah. So I don't think that's going to happen. I actually, I'm just going to throw out a prediction of who her is. I think it's his mom. Do you remember Mm, when he was a little boy, because depression runs in their family, that he had to get his mom through the depression, played by Wendy Malick? Yeah. So, because all I was thinking about, it just says her, and this is CrossFit crew. He's not just speaking to this girl by herself. That would be more suspicious. They wouldn't, like, talk about it in a group setting like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, the only her, it could be any her, but I just wanted to predict maybe the mom, like, Mm -hmm. maybe she's giving him a hard time, maybe she's going through something, Mm -hmm. and, you know, and he's like, I'm just trying to get through it because she obviously has the depression too so that that, yeah but i want to go on about kate and toby i still am predicting and i said this in our review i think that kate and the neighbor i think something's going to happen there whether maybe she stops or not i don't know and Mm -hmm. in the fall finale when kate's uh signing the police report Mm -hmm. so she's kate pearson Mm -hmm. but she also has her wedding ring Mm -hmm. well it's only nine months in the future i mean they toby and kate could have been separated but Mm -hmm. i doubt they're divorced already by then yeah you know what I mean? Yeah. For all that to happen in nine months. Who that knows? Is, that is very fast. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. oh, gosh. Um, oh. I just can't wait for all this to be answered. I hope it's answered this last part of the season because we still have another season to go. But so. I agree with you. Toby is a good guy. I just I just can't see it. And yes. even when in the beginning of this season, when they made us start to doubt him, like, why is he working out without her? Right. And then he had, like, the best reason in the world. Which was to be healthy because he had a heart attack. Yeah. He didn't want to die. He's not a bad guy. I just don't think he's he's a bad guy. guy. Yeah. So, yeah. But we'll see. Okay. Do you have another prediction for us? I have kind of a prediction. Um, It has to do with Nikki. Because Nikki, we've seen really, like, become, like, more alive in this season. Mm -hmm. And um, so I noticed that, like, there was an episode where, you know, Kevin is recalling Jack kind of scolding him, and they kind of, like, blurs Nikki and Jack. Yes, I, I kind love of think that. everyone is going to kind of start to blur Nikki and Jack yes. and have this, like, vicarious, like, relationship with Jack through Nikki. Oh, Even, wow. like, because it makes me think, again, to the season finale of season three, mm-hmm. where Nikki is there in Rebecca's room. And oh. just sitting there, remember? Oh. And... I mean, of all the people who might blur their line between Nikki and Jack, it would be Rebecca, who probably has dementia. So I'm just kind of, like, interesting. Seeing yeah. And we're also seeing that Randall and Nikki had a bond in the last, in the fall finale, too, where they went on that road trip together. And so, I don't know, I just kind of see, like, Nikki's going to start to have this, like, you know, he's, like, going to be part of their lives in this way. Wow, that's so interesting, like, interesting. taking the place of Jack... For them. Like, they're doing what they to, need. They're projecting onto Nikki. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's really oh good. But I'm liking Nikki more and more. I like, know. He was just a curmudgeonly old stubborn guy before, but now he's really, like... He's yeah. opened up a lot. Yeah. yeah totally. They've done great things with that character. Yeah. Okay. I hope that we're right. I hope yes. we get something right here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all we have for our mid-season predictions of This Is Us Season 4. But let us know what your predictions are. Comment below. All right, everybody, stay tuned. We will see you in the new year for the winter premiere of This Is Us. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.